Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be investigating something that I believe is a complete scam. And you can see we have it on screen right now. It's called FaceTime for Chrome. Now, when I first found out about this, I immediately thought, okay, this is some sort of scam. I don't know really what the application does, but there's no way that this actually exists because FaceTime is not a web-based application. You need to have an iOS or Mac OS device to use FaceTime, so there's no way that it could be in the Chrome Web Store. But nevertheless, we have this application claiming to be a version of FaceTime that runs on Google Chrome and Chromium-based browsers. I am using Microsoft Edge here, as you can probably tell, the new Microsoft Edge, that is. Now, I came across this when I was doing research for the AT&T video phone video, which you can check out up in the cards. It was a pretty fun video to make, and hey, it also relates to video calling. And I needed to capture a screenshot of the FaceTime web page on Apple's website. So I did a search for it with DuckDuckGo. I just searched for FaceTime and I noticed that right here, this third link on the page, if you count the ad up here, is FaceTime for Chrome in the Chrome Web Store. And there's also FaceTime for PC, which we'll talk about in a moment. That's a whole nother can of worms. But I was like, FaceTime for Chrome? No, no, there's no way. And sure enough, I click on it and I'm presented with this and I'm like, okay, this is a total scam. I just saw right off the bat, even though they are using what appears to be the same icon, and even though it says FaceTime for Chrome and it's spelled properly, You've got 26 reviews, and they gave it an, an average 1.6 out of 5 stars. But what really set off a red flag for me was this text right here that says offered by Chrome. Now, if you've ever messed with Chrome Web Store apps before, you'll know that this is where the developer name usually goes. That's what this text is for. So if I were to go to the home page here, and let's say I click on Skype, it'll say offered by Skype.com, and you can click on that to go to the website. Uh, Google Translate will say offered by translate.google.com, and it will say by Google right down here to let you know that this is an official uh, Google app. We've got Zoom here, Zoom Scheduler, offered by zoom.us. So this is a Zoom uh, application. So they've somehow been able to have their developer name as just Chrome, and then they've published this application and they're trying to paint it as an official Chrome application, like developed by Google, which obviously is not the case. So definitely some shady stuff going on, and the reviews should definitely give it away. But 20,000 people downloaded this. So these people were able to convince, I mean, I assume 20,000 people, that this is an actual FaceTime client. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see there's some other weird oddities like the only product image it appears to be it's actually not the same icon it's slightly different you can see here it's got like a gradient and it's got this little um, part that's uh, protruding from the camera maybe this is an older icon but this is definitely not the right font that Apple uses uh, so this is what the official App Store web page looks like. So this is similar to what you would see if you were browsing on the App Store, either on Mac OS or iOS. They didn't take the uh, images from the Apple App Store listing here. What they did take is the description text. If we go over here, it says they, they've taken part of it and they've actually changed it. It says, connect with family and friends around the world with FaceTime. That's the first sentence. The second sentence they've changed to make audio and video calls from your browser. You can use FaceTime over Wi-Fi or over cellular on supported Chrome and Brave browser. Google would definitely, if this was a official Chrome application, like it's trying to say here, they wouldn't have to mention Brave. That's a competitor to Chrome technically. Why would they mention that? Um, and they would make sure that they're using proper grammar because they should say browsers, they're referring to two browsers here. But the other obvious giveaway is Google would not be able to develop a FaceTime browser extension for Chrome even if they wanted to. Apple would have to do it. So I don't know how this came into existence. My honest guess is this was created to try and take advantage of people during the current pandemic. Obviously a lot of people are working from home and they're using programs or services like FaceTime to connect with co-workers and, and friends and family. You can see here it was last updated May 6 of 2020. I don't know when it was actually published, but this is when it was last updated. Now, if we go to the reviews here, what I because I was scrolling through these reviews before I started recording, and they've appeared to add their own reviews in here, because if we scroll through here, there are a couple of five-star reviews. If we scroll down here, I think this was one right here, yeah, by Steve Conrad, easy to use. <laughs> this guy, this person calls him an idiot. 
I suspect you aren't you aren't quite telling the truth. You do know that this is a scam to get personal data slash information about you. So this right here is what I was like, okay, this is that we I have to do something on this. All these other people gave it one star reviews. This person says is a scam tries to trick you into answering personal questions. It's a scam, delete it from your computer. They want you to buy their stuff, so they tell you to complete an offer. For your entertainment, we're going to uh install this. We're gonna add this to Chrome and we're gonna see what FaceTime for Chrome is all about. So let's uh let's add the extension here. So it adds this button up here. We can right click on it and manage extensions. Obviously it'll open up the regular uh, extensions. The the size is under one megabyte. That's not right at all. There's no way FaceTime would take up less than a megabyte of, of space. Uh, obviously, this is like a web app. That's the other thing. This is a web app, so it just doesn't make sense. Like, FaceTime is not a web app. You need to have a dedicated application on iOS or macOS to use FaceTime, so it doesn't make any sense. So, back to the main page here. This does not look right at all. And what's interesting is there's only an option to register for an account. There's no sign in. FaceTime requires an Apple ID to function. That's obviously how it's designed. So if you had opened up FaceTime on your iOS device or your macOS device and you had not already signed into your Apple ID, it would ask you to either sign in or create a new Apple ID. And you could consider this a phishing attempt because, I mean, it kind of is. It doesn't really ask you to sign in for an Apple ID. But if somebody didn't know, they might actually, like, thinking that this was a real Apple application, they might actually put in their Apple ID, email address, and their password and click on register. And, uh, oh, <laughs> check that out. Yeah, I think that's absolutely, I was actually going to type in an email address. I had a temp mail loaded up here, which is, you know, one of these sites that will generate a temporary uh, email address for you so you can receive mail without putting in your real email address to a website. But you can see that I just clicked on register without putting in anything and it just logged me in, quote unquote, logged me in. So it's not even making an account. It's not doing anything like that. And this right here is uh, what people were talking about on the reviews page. It's asking us to complete an offer. Now, why FaceTime would have you do this should be another red flag. There's no way FaceTime would to make a video call would say, hey, complete this offer and get 13,500 Fortnite V-Bucks or a brand new PS5 once released. You can tell this is old, the PS5 is already out. Uh, get 1,000 sent to your cash app. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make, and you can see it's actually off the screen. Look, as I hover over it here, you can see that this survey, this is a embedded web page, I would guess. Rayfoldings.com, these are links. So let's click on this here, and that redirects you to onlinepromousa.com. And apparently they're using Cloudflare, and this is happening because I'm behind a VPN, and apparently they've blocked uh, the the IP address range that the VPN is using currently. And that's what all of these do. They all open up a like they just redirect you out to a completely separate website that's just going to be some bullcrap survey that it wants you to do. I wonder if I refresh this. Like we're gonna say reload and yeah, so it just comes up again with register account. Like it's not even saving that I logged in, but like I can type in whatever I want and it will authenticate quote unquote and then bring up the same stuff. So I would definitely not recommend doing any of that or even going to the uh, survey website uh, itself. But this isn't the only, this is the other weird thing. This is not the only application in the Chrome web store trying to claim that it's FaceTime. There's this other one right here called FaceTime for PC, and this appears to be the default icon for a Chrome Web Store app. So yeah, very, you know, should be a huge giveaway. Uh, FaceTime is not, I mean, the T in FaceTime is capitalized. And you can see you just have some random username here. At least I think that's that's what that is. They're not even trying to make it sound official. But again, 20,000 people downloaded this. And this just looks weird. Like what on earth is this? Create ISO file, first you need to move. Like this is a, it's like some sort of guide here. And there's two images, they appear to be the same image. And, oh gosh, this is great. This extension was created with the awesome FaceTime for PC dot site. FaceTime for PC is here, available for Windows computer to run FaceTime in it. FaceTime is video calling application and very famous platform for Apple Inc. Now it is available on Windows as well. FaceTime for Windows extension will help you make FaceTime video calls from Windows 10, 8, 7, etc 
you just need to download the extension on Google Chrome and use it as FaceTime app. A lot of it is redundant. It says the same, like you can use your iPad, iPhone, or Mac to make a FaceTime call to anyone across the globe who is also using an Apple device. Yeah, so this is copied and pasted from somewhere else because it's saying using an Apple device. We're not using an Apple device. This up here says that, no, it's for Windows now. But see, this is the other thing. Look at how many apps are called Fate. There's four of them here. There's four, and this is the one that we already took a look at, but there's three more. And then you've got Snapchat. Like, I, I could just go on like a whole series of videos on all these weird, fake Chrome applications. I don't know what it is. Google apparently has not done anything. These are still in here. This one has been in here uh, since July, so it's a bit newer, version 0.0.1. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so we'll close out of that. It doesn't launch anything by default. We've got a, an icon up here. We'll click on it. Hello, extensionizer. To shut this pop-up down, edit the manifest file and remove default pop-up. Oh, wait a second. Is this? Yep, that's where it comes from. Here's the icon, extensionizer. Start a Chrome extension in 15 seconds. That's what this is. This was made with uh, with Extensionizer, and this is the default thing that was not changed. But I don't know where this comes into play. I mean, if we click on it, it comes up with this generic menu that, again, is just, this is not edited. Right-clicking on it doesn't, there are no options. You know, just remove from Edge, move to the menu, uh, FaceTime, oh, okay. <laughs> That's what it is. FaceTime for, it's just like a link to go to FaceTime for PC .site, uh, which seems to be, so this is just a website, so you wouldn't have to download this Chrome extension to get to the website, like this is not providing any uh, functionality except for this pop-up here, which does nothing. As we all know, FaceTime for PC is rarely available over the internet. We will guide you how to install FaceTime on Windows through various methods. Uh, okay, so here is the screenshot from here. Until now, installing FaceTime on Windows was not possible due to top secrecy of Apple Inc. Now, we can install and download FaceTime in Windows computer without any issues. Although Windows have very good list of video calling apps, but as we discussed earlier, we want what we want. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, come on, like, so it actually has this guide here. Oh, this is just install. <laughs> it's just installing Mac OS and VMware. That's what the guide is. That's what this is. It tells you how to install Mac OS and VMware and then use the regular FaceTime application. You're not getting FaceTime on Windows. You're just installing Mac OS and VMware. That's, that's not going to run. I mean, it's still running under OS 10 or Mac OS. So this one here uh, looks, oh, Offered by Chrome, this is the same, uh, it seems to be the same as this one. Though it's under the accessibility category, only 4,000 users this time. This time they've put the trademark symbol, ooh, that, that makes it legit, guys, don't worry. Again, the T is not intercapitalized like it should be. The same icon as this icon over here on the other one. Same thing here. Oh, there's a little bit of difference here. There's a space right here. Uh, and they were updated on the exact same day. Look at that. If we, I just close out of it by accident, but yeah, May 6th, May 6th. It's one, 7.15 kilobytes instead of 7.14 kilobytes. And yes, that's what, uh, that's how you say that. These are not kilobytes, they're kilobytes. Could do a whole video on that. So apparently this one uh, takes up more space. Let's discover why. Let's install the extension here. FaceTime TM has been added to Microsoft Edge. Okay, so what's different between these two? Uh, we got the same, okay, let's click on register, does the exact same thing, we get the same offers, look at that, get, and these are probably going to link to the exact same uh, website, yep, it takes up more space, but it seems to be an exact copy of the other one, uh, this one here, is this real, this is the same thing, this is the third one now, it's back in the social and communication category. Only 996 people have downloaded this one. This one takes up even less space, 6.22 kibibytes. This one is, is more recent. Uh, it was last updated in June, June 8th of 2020. Let's see what this is probably going to be the exact same thing. I don't get the sizing though. Oh, look at this. Oh, check that out. Chrome-Google-WebStore.com slash FaceTime. This is loading some shady website, I would guess. Uh, this completely gets rid of the like internal page, you know, using the extension protocol here uh, that, that Chrome uses for extension web pages. 
and it actually redirects you to a website that appears to be like, let's uh, let's do a who is on this, shall we? Looks like they've got it behind a uh, who is privacy company, so it's not gonna actually show information here, not disclose domain admin, but it was created on June 8th, 2020. So yeah, I honestly think that this was created. All of these FaceTime programs were created during the pandemic to try and, and trick people into thinking that this is a real FaceTime application and then try to get some of their information. Hopefully you guys found this one interesting and entertaining. Uh, I would not recommend any of these uh, applications. In fact, I'm going to report abuse right now for all of these because uh, they should not be in the Chrome Web Store at all. Along with all of these other weird, like Snapchat for PC, 50,000 users offered by Snapchat. Whoa, wait a second. Oh yeah, this is, I think we're gonna have to take a look at this one, guys, because this, I mean, they literally have the, the Snap, I mean, they're using the Snapchat name. But even if that one was official, there's all these other ones in here claiming to be the official app. Like if we go over here and if we go <laughs> look at this, there's four other applications called Snapchat for PC. Like, and there's even more. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be, we're going to have to do something on this. So if you guys want to see me dive into Snapchat for PC on here, be sure to let me know. But yeah, I'm going to uh, file uh, reports for these. I know that sounds like a caring thing to do, but I'm going to do it because um, there's no way these should be in the Chrome Web Store. It's honestly kind of surprising that Google has uh, let these apps in here. I'm sure other people have filed abuse reports. Maybe this video, hopefully this video will uh, bring attention to it. And like I said, guys, if you want to see me dive into Snapchat for PC on here, be sure to let me know. But that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below. Turn on those channel notifications to get notified whenever I upload new videos, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.